This is Sandra Walter here with Pedal Magazine, and I'm in Carlsbad, California, with Ina Yoko Teutenberg of Germany, and she's on the new specialized Lululemon women's pro cycling team, and they're having their team camp down here in rainy California, <laughs> but I'm told it wasn't rainy before we arrived, so. <laughs> um, welcome, Ina. Hi. So, tell me about how, how your camp is going so far and what, what you've been doing. Uh, we've been here now a week and um, been pretty busy like introducing ourselves to everybody on the staff and everything and getting some testing done. Me media is now, but we had a lot of time to ride and it's been sunny till you guys came in yesterday. So I mean we've got a lot of riding in and uh, just figuring out the new bikes. As I said, we did some physiology testing and um, getting to know your sponsors and everything. So it's been pretty busy but a fun week so far. Cool. So, and Ina pointed out that she's wearing the hockey hat just for the Canadians' benefit, so I hope everybody appreciates it, Eight. which I'm sure we do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, with the change-up of sponsorship, um, has the team changed, in your opinion, at all, or is it kind of the same old deal? Uh, I mean, the people in the management, they are, they've been around me for the last five or six years, so that kind of hasn't changed for me, but... It's like, I think the last six years I've always was part of the Pro Tour woman slash woman team set up. So it's, uh, it's a lot smaller this year, but I really, really like it. Actually, it's different, and we know that everybody is really just here to be focused on us and not like having big stars out there like from the male cycling scene. So I think this is a huge step for women cycling. I think Lululemon and Special Up will like really try to promote us, and you can feel this. They're really behind this program. So for me, it's like a really positive change. I mean, I had everything on the other team, and they did a good job with us. They supported us. But this is a really positive change for me, so I, I'm really excited for the year. Very cool. And I forgot to mention that, you know, you are one of the most winningest women in cycling at the moment, winning, winning countless World Cups almost. And so I, I read that kind of the things, the crowning jewels that are missing from your career, um, you've said, are a world championship win and an Olympic gold medal. So how do you think Lulu, Lemons, and Specialized will help you achieve those goals next year? I mean, they set this program up. I mean, the team, like High Road, was folding last year. And, I mean, we were all kind of hanging in the air, not knowing what we're going to do. I mean, I think most of us would have found another team, but it was just really, really important for most of the girls to like to stay in the same program, stay with the same management, stay with the same girls. And I mean Lululemon and Specialized they stepped in and like pretty much picked us up from not having a sponsor to like getting a really good team going. So I think it will just be like the perfect support for us to be able to reach our goals for next season. And how are you personally going approaching your season? This is a big one coming up. You you've kind of said that this will be your last season, is that correct? Yeah, right now it's my last season. I always say unless somebody pays me a million, I'm going uh, <laughs> to But I mean, I love what I'm doing, so you never know. I mean, never say never. So, I mean, right now, I mean, main thing is the Olympic Games. So, I mean, we have to all race pretty good early in the season to just get uh, the qualifications in and all that. So, I mean, I'm going to have a pretty busy um, classic season, like trying to win one or two of the big classics and then have a bit more of a break and then trying to rebuild for the Olympic Games. I mean, it's a huge goal. It's a huge goal for any other girl out there. So, I mean, you know, you try to do your best and you try to go out there and win. But as I said, there are so many other girls who want to do that. So it will be a hard test. Um, do you think that the course is, suits your strengths, though? Yeah, the course is not super hard. I mean, there's one mountain in there. It's like 3K long and we do it twice, which is normally manageable for me because it's a bit of a power climb. But, you know, it's road racing. There's so many technical things in there, too. We have four girls on the team. There could be a breakaway. It's actually a good course for anything, like a breakaway, a bunch sprint. So I think they've found a pretty fair setup that, like, anybody can try to win the get race. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to seeing seeing what you can do. So your new teammate this year is Canadian Clara Hughes. Um, how is that going? Have you hit it off? And oh, I know Clara for the last 15 years. I mean, I'm, um, we started racing in the 90s together. I mean, she was always on the Canadian team, on Team Southern, and I was racing as a national team. Then um, she can tell you about that. We had a really bonding crash together in, I think, 1997 in New Zealand, where she's slit her face and you know I had to my bike was broken so I mean we've known each other for a long time and um, I've kind of was part of a whole skating thing too my ex-girlfriend used to be a speed skater so I've been in the skating world and uh, one 
bad back then in 2002. Nobody believed me Claire was able to win an uh, Olympic medal by that already. I went to Vancouver to her last skating race. I mean, she's just such an inspiring athlete for anybody. Nice person, and I'm really stoked to have her back on the team and be riding with her this year. Yeah, we're pretty stoked too that she's riding with you guys. Um, so, how, what's your role? What's your role as, on the team, or what do you see yourself? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm, first of all, I do have to win races. I'm the sprinter. There's certain things I have to do. But I mean, I'm one of the older ones, experienced ones. I've been in the sport for a long time, so I'd, I take on a lot of the mentoring role. I like be the road captain when it comes to races and tell the young ones what to do and what we can improve and all that. So, I mean, it's just a natural thing. I'm, you know, normally some older ones take over that role, and I mean, hopefully we can develop some of the young ones when we then retire, that they will be able to step into our footsteps. So how do you feel about the whole right to play movement? I think, is it Clara that brought that kind of to the team? Uh, no, we've actually had that with the high road the last couple of uh, years, and I went to uh, Peru two years ago. I mean, it's an amazing organization who tries to, like, reach out to kids through sport, and I mean, this is just, like, what everybody should have in their mind, and we know that there in other countries people are not as fortunate as where we grew up, so I think it's great to have Clara here, so we're really going to get more involved with it and uh, hopefully be able to do something for the organization. Excellent. Um, another question that I've been asking is the whole yoga thing. So had you ever done yoga before joining this team? Yeah, I have, because I've been living in North America for the last 10 years or 12 years. So, you know, yoga is huge here, so you do it automatically. I like it, you know, so it's like, I'm probably not as into it as like some of my American teammates, but I do like it and I do do it in the off season. What else do you do in the off season to change um, things up? I mean, I used to live in Utah, so back then I did like snowboarding, snowshoeing, did all that stuff, the winter stuff, now I'm in California. So I do hiking, I go hike with my dog, I go to the gym, I mountain bike, and then just try to stay fit in the off season before you get too burned out on the bike and then start really riding the road in January. Right. So what's your first race of the season? Uh, it's actually going to be early March in California, I'm a set, and then I fly straight out to Europe after that to start the European season. So you're going to have a busy year ahead of you? Yeah, it's alright. I mean, that's what we used to. I mean, that's from March till the end of September. That's what we used to, but I have a break in between the seasons, so it should be okay. Excellent. Well, uh, best of luck to you in 2012, Thank you. and thanks for speaking to me. Thank you.